Hello everybody and welcome to some modded Enter the Gungeon, or welcome back for those of you that may have watched my previous modded Enter the Gungeon series, but either way, today we're going to be checking out Sanctified Oil, which as you saw by the thumbnail and probably the title, this is basically soy milk in Enter the Gungeon. It's pretty wacky, so let's take a little look at it over here in the Ammonomicon, shall we? So this is from um, Once More Into the Breach, it is an A-tier weapon, drastically increases fire rate and removes the need to reload. Um, but greatly stunts damage uh, quite a bit as you can see on the left there. We got 0 0.2 damage So we've only got 20% of our original damage Pretty interesting. It's got some cool synergies, but as you can see regular weapons that uh, tap fire Doesn't really make that much of a difference by the way We are running quite a few different mods here So you'll see as you can see right now some modded enemies as well as some other modded guns and items that we'll come across. Now, I haven't played Gungeon in a little while, so excuse me if I'm terrible at it. I apologize. Um, but as you can clearly see, this weapon is doing very, very little damage thus far. And we'll be very much hoping that we can get something that's going to improve that damage or get a weapon that's going to be a bit more compatible. The good thing is we do gain a massive bonus, massive, massive bonus to our ammo capacity on weapons. I believe it's five times, although I'm not entirely sure on that. Um, but yeah, you'll see when we pick up uh, our first actual ammo expending weapon that it'll give a pretty big bonus to our ammo capacity, which makes a lot of sense when we're firing a ton more bullets. But as you can clearly see, at the moment, this is proving to be a little difficult just because the damage on this is so very low and honestly we are already playing as the pilot here which is a character that doesn't typically have great damage with his starting weapon anyways so definitely makes things a little more difficult in that regard anyways so we'll do our best and we'll see how far we can get here but I don't I can't promise I can't promise that this run will last the distance if we don't get a good weapon so I'm gonna hope for the best here um, it's, a, it's a shame we can't just hold down to rapid fire but you have to tap fire to fire faster in Gungeon with these single fire weapons. And even then, I'm not able to fire at full capacity. But there's another thing here. You can see we've got champion enemies, as we can see regularly in the Binding of Isaac. Uh, Enter the Gungeon from one of the mods, uh, Frost and Gunfire, now has champion enemies, which is pretty goddamn cool. Um, so this guy is just a regular enemy, but he does fire jammed bullets. But he isn't jammed. He still has regular health. But um, he does indeed. Hey, the barrel still do good damage. And we get a chest here. Please have a gun technically a gun <laughs> this is another modded weapon here so we've got a rock um it's just a rock nothing special that literally this is just a rock someone put in a chest it's a thrown weapon it has no ammo its entire purpose is to be thrown the good thing however though is i don't think thrown damage is changed i'm not entirely sure about that but i don't think it is so open that up we get ourselves some um, mimic bait, interesting. Mimic bait is a passive. Increases the chance for mimics to appear as chests. That's very nice. So mimics, as you probably already know if you've watched Gungeon before, uh, basically chests have a chance to be a mimic which will try and eat you. Uh, but the good thing about mimics is they do not require keys to open said chests. Okay, so yes, indeed I was correct in thinking the rock does not uh, have its damage reduced. The thrown weapon damage is exactly the same, which means we have a method even though it's not the best, we have a method of dealing decent damage until we get a good weapon. Now, we do have the lockpick as this guy as well, so if our other chest is locked and we don't manage to buy a key, we should be alright. But I'm reckoning we'll get enough money to buy a key from the shop here, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. The only thing is, at the minute, the, um, the rock here doesn't return to us in any capacity. Oh, dude, I'm taking some buku damage right now. I need to use the tables and things more often. And I also have to remember to pick up the rock before I leave the room. Otherwise, we're not going to have any rock going into the next room. So it will get stolen by the rat. As you can see, though, this is not the easiest uh, of situations to be in. Oh, my Lord. I've taken so much damage already. I need to play more carefully. This is not good. <laughs> as, as I said, it's been a little while since I played Gungeon. So we do also have a shop discount as this guy as well. So our key will be cheaper. Now, the, th the interesting thing is as well, with throwing weapon damage being better, a lot of our weapons are going to run out of damage pretty quickly. Okay, let's quickly go to our shop. I probably ought to just open that green chest straight away here. The drill is only 30. Okay, we'll, we'll, we will be getting the drill because that means we no longer require keys. Where's my rock? Okay, it's here. Good. <laughs> I thought I'd lost it for a second there. I thought I'd lost my rock. I do want to not die. That would be preferable. Um, but we'll see. We'll see about not dying. 
Okay, these guys aren't going to be too bad because they will explode. This is going to be a bit of a struggle bus to begin with here. A little bit of a struggle bus. Um, did we get enough? We did. Good, good. Okay, we can buy the drill right off the bat here. And the drill is an active item that allows us to fight chests, essentially. But it's, it's a little difficult because we are going to have to fight a wave of enemies. Uh, which isn't ideal with the situation we've got going on right now. Especially considering the enemies are typically a little harder than your average enemy. Um, especially don't like the fact that we're fighting this guy. I'll be honest. This guy is uh, is is kind of a mini boss in a way of the first floor. I don't know how many rock throws it's going to take to kill him, but ah oh, no, we might die here. We might die. This guy is not easy. There's another wave. No, I was really hoping there wouldn't be another wave. Okay, we're going to have to be really cautious here about this big guy. Oh my god, this is so tricky. <laughs> I'm fighting for my life here. Fighting for my life. I tried to get the rock, I couldn't get it. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's not even a goddamn weapon. How dare you, game? How dare you? <laughs> this is not burning well. Not a good beginning. Oh, we did get a chest here, though. Um... We do have enough to do this again, but I'm a little dubious of how well this is going to go. Wait, hold up. We're not going to get we're not going to get a weapon this entire first floor because we got one of these chests which is always this is a special chest that always contains a bullet modifier, which is good for late game, but for early game it's going to be rough. If I could just fire faster. Hey, only one wave this time. That at least helps. And we get whatever the hell this is. The injector rounds. Interesting. Let's take a look at what they do. These custom-made rounds pump in ailments and debuffs into your enemies, causing it to burst into a pool when killed. It's also, um, it's, it's also a pointer and aerodynamic. Pointier. Point, pointier? Pointer. It says pointer. I think it means pointier. Um, experimental ammo type. The allow you to store nutrients for ease. Uh, increased damage and player projectile speed. If enemy has been shot, it will keep track of all debuffs it has. When the enemy dies, it creates a goop of whatever debuff it currently has. If the enemy has multiple debuffs, it will select one at random. That's that's pretty interesting. I don't think it's super useful for us yet, but I do think that means that we're not getting a gun, which is truly, truly just terrible for us. Um, <laughs> we're going to be fighting the boss on one HP. This is not going to go too hot. Um, Gatling gull here. I'll be honest, I've got low range, so not going to be the best fight of my life. Probably going to take us quite some time, and I have to flawless it, otherwise I die. So, we'll see how this goes. Oh, this is going to take quite some time by the looks of it. Where's my rock at? I, uh, oh, I can't swap to my, I see. The way that I swap to my rock is a bit janky. Oh, this is going to take quite some time. And the thing is, I'm not even guaranteed to get a weapon or live through this, so good luck to me, I guess. Good luck to me. <laughs> this is uh, quite the start. So as you can see, Sanctified Oil as an item, to begin with, not the most uh, not the most powerful of, of items, but you will see as later into the run we get, it is kind of, it's, it's actually quite similar to Isaac, where like, with your default tiers, it's really not a very good item. But as soon as you get some damage ups, as soon as you get some passive items that help you out with your uh, with your damage and status effects and things like that, it becomes a lot, 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 lot better. Now, my main worry at the minute is just the the lack, absolute lack of range that I have. My damage actually isn't so bad. It's taking a while, but it's not taking forever. It's really the fact that we have an extreme lack of range is really my biggest worry. And luckily, he is firing a mighty amount of missiles. We, we've got him about halfway down so far, which is better than I was expecting. But still, all could go wrong so quickly, so very quickly. This guy can do some janky shots around corners. We did luckily get the uh, the version of this room where we only have to like fight him around these pillars. It's not like an open room. So it does help, but it's not ideal. And luckily, he's doing the missile firing quite often, which helps. Okay. 
Good. He's doing a lot of, of jumping attacks, which is never good. But this is how you get a flawless, baby. <laughs> painstakingly. Very painstakingly. The good thing is, if we do manage to flawless this, obviously we survive for one. For two, we get a full heart. Like, the massive round that we get will give us he uh, HP, even if we don't get any healing after the rune. Okay, the missile attack is like our absolute golden opportunity to do some damage to him here. So we've got to be really sort of on it whenever he does this attack. The only thing is, it is a little bit hard to, to sort of accurately dodge everything when he does this attack. And sometimes he does that. God, that was a bit scary. That was a little bit scary. Honestly, the, be the, the worst thing right now is the absolute RSI that this is giving me. I'm having to be like spam fire so much. My god, we've almost got him. We've almost got him. <laughs> what a boss fight this has been. Literally taking five times the amount of shots it should. Okay, he's doing this again. We should be able to kill him here. We've just got to be a little cautious about the missiles. Yes, there you go. Okay, please give us a gun. <laughs> please give us a gun. We did get a gun. We got ourselves... Gunther, which is a knockoff Gunther by the looks of it. And we've also got one of these portals. I'm not going to bother with a portal right now. That's not what we're showcasing today. But let's take a look at what Gunther does. Um, not as powerful as Gunther. The gun still holds its own treat with kindness. We'll see how it does. Unfortunately, it's yet again not a fully auto weapon though. So not the most ideal. Not the most ideal. We really want to get something like an AK or something that's going to prove itself. I do see that we got a very, very meager damage boost from our um, projectile bullets. Look, we we're going, went up from 0 0.2 to 0 0.22, so we got a 10% damage increase, which is, it's something. And at least we have a weapon now that might be a little bit better for us. Okay, this thing is significantly better by the looks of things. Yes, this thing's, this thing's pretty good. And we also have good HP now as well. We're actually able to hold our own a little bit. See, I want your AK, Mr. Man. Some new enemies here, as you can see. But even still, we're having a hard time here. Beautiful stuff. I like the explosions killing stuff for us. Gun nuts, not, not the best for us, because they uh, have quite high HP. Luckily, this thing is doing decent damage. But like I said, this thing's not full auto, so I'm still having to spam fire. All we need is one full auto weapon to really show how Sanctified Oil can, can go crazy. I just find it surprising that we didn't get a gun on floor 1. Regularly in Gungeon, one of the chests on floor 1 is guaranteed to give you a weapon, but there's a very, very small chance that one of the mods replaces it with a bullet modifier chest. And we got that small chance, which is not particularly what we were looking for, but let's see what we're going on here. We got the Northern Lion Egg. Uh, Mix drops 20% cheaper while held, taking damage 15% chance to break. When the egg breaks, it'll drop a random DT item gun and heal half a heart. Not bad. We've also got the prize ball, but I think I'm just going to take the key for now, just so that we have one for when we come across our first chest. Um, and we've actually got hard reload bullets in here, which is pretty good. I'd like to grab hard reload bullets. The, also, the power block is not bad either. Power block is not bad either. Both pretty good. Hard reload bullets, longer reload, which doesn't matter for us, and more damage. So definitely something we want to save up for. Now, this, this prize guy here, we might not be able to kill him in time. Okay, we just about got him. What's he going to give us? That's not bad. One good thing here, as you can see, is room with pits. We can actually knock enemies into pits reasonably easily here because we've got low damage, lots of knockback, which is kind of perfect for us. As you can see, we just knocked all of those in. Unfortunately, these guys, knocking them into pits isn't really going to do much for us because they can fly. They fly now. Beautiful stuff. Right. Take us to our first chest, please. Remember, we don't actually need keys anymore. Um, the only reason I bought one was for a uh, key shop if we end up coming across one. I'll be honest, I did just forget, so buying the key wasn't particularly necessary, so we could have got hard reload bullets straight away. But let's pretend let's pretend that's not the case, and I I, I need it for something. Which, technically, like I said, key shop, there's, there's a few different things that I can use it for. It's not completely useless. And it, do, it does mean that at some point I don't have to fight the, um, I don't have to fight the, the, the chest when I use the drill. So I could just go, go for a normal fight. 
Come on, you. Take him down. Where art thou, chest? Again, good room here because we can push these enemies off of the pillars. We can just get behind these guys and push them. Beautiful. And then there's our ammo refilled on this thing, which is pretty good. Not that we're running out, but it's good to have more. You can see we have 3,000. Is that a mimic? It is. No! Okay, I did not mean to fall there. Mimic's actually going to be kind of hard to kill here, because we can't push it off the thing. and We've got very limited space to fight it here, so... Honestly, not the best. This is actually kind of awful. It's going to take a really long time to kill as well. As you can see, I'm barely hitting it right now. This is awful. I mean, I'm dodging reasonably well, but... I don't know how long this is going to take, because I, I need to get close to it. This, these different chest rooms do not lend themselves to mimics at all. Is he nearly dead? I don't even know how many times I've hit him. There you go, finally. And we get backup gun, which is kind of interesting. We shoot backwards at the same time. Not particularly good with this gun, but it has the chance to be very good. Ooh, this is a new guy. Hello, what are you? What are you? Hath you no desire to ha um, to air uh, to yourself for a price? Insurance policy. I don't actually know what that is, but unfortunately my money is somewhat spoken for, so he's not going to be the best for us. I think it was 36 for hard reload bullets. Nice, that room was uh, lovely. But yeah, hard reload bullets is going to be really nice for us, but realistically, the backup gun's going to be very nice for us too with certain weaponry. With the weapon we've got right now, doesn't particularly make any difference, but with certain weapons, it's going to be very, very good. Taken care of. Nope. I keep saying taken care of like he's going to be dead, but I don't always know. At least this weapon's better than a starter pistol. I mean, that's something at least, isn't it? Beautiful. A, another chest here. We'll drill this. Getting the ring of chest friendship for more random chests on rooms is actually really, really good for us. Double shotgun there. As I, as I said, in modded Gungeon, there's a lot of different things you can see. Hey! Again, not full auto. <laughs> this is not going well for us. Sanctified Oil is there. Uh, it's not doing a hell of a lot for us yet, but this is still a better weapon, I think, overall. Not for a fire enemy, though, obviously. But this should create, yeah, fire pools. Unfortunately, the fire pools do set us on fire, which is not great, but that's our uh, injector rounds doing their thing. So we can do some interesting stuff with this. Just got to be careful of setting ourselves alight, which ideally we won't, but you know at some point, you know at some point I will. Ooh, trap room here. A little bit close there, but we got it. Oh, bad hit there. You can see, though, the, the speed at which we can fire this when we tap shoot, it is pretty incredible. Chest here. Let's drill that bad boy. Ooh. Weird. Whoa, we got a champion. We got a champion here. Ah, oh my god. My, my guan stone just saved my ass there. Yeah, this guy's a champion, so he's absolutely massive. I'm guessing he has double HP as well, which is the worst. <laughs> this has been a real struggle bus thus far, hasn't it? A real struggle bus. We're only on the second floor. Come on, guy. The fire's got to be doing good damage to you. I think the fire damage, the burn damage, is still the same as it would be otherwise. So we are getting more damage off of the back of that. Thank God for no second wave. And what we got here? That's more like it. There you go. The average duo. Our first fully auto weapon. Shots from this gun deal damage equal to the average damage per bullet of each gun in the owner's arsenal. Interesting. Interesting. Right. Hard reload bullets I think we can buy. It was 36, right? 37. 
and that puts us up to... It's, it, it's not much of a damage increase, but it's decent. And we don't reload, so the reloading aspect of it makes no difference. Right, let's see how this thing does. Okay, this thing's good. And as you can clearly see, with Sanctified Oil, it's pretty interesting. Now, the thing is about this thing, as you can see, is expending its ammo rather quickly. But, it's much, much stronger. So we had to we had to fight through some pain. Hey, we got baby good shell in as well. We had to fight through some pain here, but we finally got something worthwhile. We finally got something that shows the true power, the true prowess of sanctified oil of soy milk in Enter the Gungeon. <laughs> Early on, maybe not the best showcase ever, but just just you wait and it gets it gets pretty saucy. It gets to be pretty interesting. Right. Go to the next floor, and we'll, we'll be using this thing throughout the floor and hoping for an ammo drop, I think, because I'd rather kill him, he's faster. And I think average Joe, with it giving a sort of an average between the gun's damage, um, I I think it's going to be really good, because I think it's taking the actual gun's damage, not the... Um, there's my baby. The actual gun's damage, not the damage that I have as a character, which makes it even stronger, as you can see. Little trap there. Beautiful. Beautiful. I like this a lot. <laughs> this is uh this is the sort of thing I was waiting to see. The fully auto weapons are what you want to see. The so sanctified oil does have a pretty big downside, especially starting with it. But as soon as you get some weapon that works really well with it, you're in the clear. Yeah, absolutely in the clear. That was a little bit risky of a, of a dodge roll there. Oop! I've set off the alarm mushrooms. This is a, a special little thing that's been added to the game on this floor. There's alarm mushrooms. If you, se if you set them off, it will call in reinforcements. As you can clearly see. Hey, look! <laughs> you can fire in both directions. Got drill again. Ring of Friendship and Drill is just a magical combo for us right now. Only one wave on these. And then we got... The Clown Shotgun. <laughs> okay. Clown Shotgun. As you can tell, a little annoying. But it absolutely plasters the room in bullets. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, we'll go with that and that. Yeah, it's it's gonna be annoying, but it's pretty it's overall. It's pretty strong We got the brick breaker in here, which could also be interesting. It isn't fully auto, but it could be interesting Just the fact that this covers the entire room in bullets is uh, it's pretty fun Ooh, We've got a key in there More traps more custom traps here Right straight on through we got one of these, that's for sacrificing junk for armor. Unfortunately, we do not have any junk for sale right now. Right, there you go. Chest, I'm coming your way. I am on my way to you, little chest buddy. Just be patient. Okay, we've got two jammer mancers here. It's one of the rooms I created, actually. I did a lot of room creation for Expand the Gungeon. There we go. And a chest once again. I really like the drill. It's a super cool item. Bit of a bad hit, hit there, but no worries. Beautiful stuff. Oh, we got another chest. Wait, I think I've got to open that. Ooh. The camera could be really good here. It does damage to everything in the room. And then what the hell is this? It's another weapon. I don't know what this is. Command your troop of pipe pickies? Pick, pick, I don't know. Is that pickies? Recall them with reload. 
charge attack to focus the assault. Interesting. So let's let's see what these do. Hmm. Interesting. I don't exactly know how this works, but I'm willing to give it a go. Willing to give it a shot and see what's what with it. I think the camera is going to be really, really good. Right. So. I'm not exactly sure. So I fire these. Not exactly sure how this works. I've got a reload to recall them. I'm not. Am I meant to have like little minions or something here? I think this maybe is a weapon that isn't working with sanctified oil too well. Camera, however, sorry if you have epilepsy, but otherwise, the camera, pretty goddamn good. As anyone that's played Gungeon will know, the camera does damage to the entire room. So, yeah, this is a uh, sanctified oil at its best here. The sanctified oil feeling real good. And we get ourselves some sort of robot arm. The Cheetah's Draw Arm. For a second after switching weapons, gain accuracy and fire it. Pretty interesting. I like the idea behind that. That's pretty cool. And in here we've got a shop that we've missed. Unfortunately, it's a time-gated shop. Uh, I think we'll probably be using this thing here, won't we? Pretty easy boss here. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm tap-firing, bosses do have a damage cap. So you can't, like, they have armor, so you can't do damage to them too fast. So it's a waste of ammo to fire really, really fast. Better to tap fire to conserve ammo and deal decent damage. I, I got hit, unfortunately. I'm just going to beam into him now. Got hit again. Really? None of those were the boss? That was a bit unfair. <laughs> I think it's on like 1 HP. We got him though. We got him. And we get Old Goldie. Another good weapon for us here. This will be a really good weapon actually. It's a very strong gun. Um, and I think we're good to go. The interesting thing is as well, our um, average Joe is going to keep getting better the more weapons we get, right? And you can see as well, actually, one interesting thing about Old Goldie, and one of the reasons it's going to be so very, very good, is if you take a look at our damage stat on the left there, 0 0.49, that's actually because of Old Goldie. If we switch weapon to... Oh, no! Well, yeah, there you go. So we switch weapon to camera, 0 0.29, Old Goldie adds a full 20 damage, like 0 0.2 damage. So it's going to be a very, very strong weapon with Sanctified Oil, because it actually just gains a bonus of damage. It's also just a gen genuinely a very good weapon anyways. The only downside, as you can clearly see, is its knockback is actually knocking a lot of the enemies away from the shots. I think the camera is still going to be our best bet in most rooms here. It's that and the average Joe are going to be truly pretty good. Oop, Mimic. Is, that, is, is this damaging it? Okay, there you go. We've got a Plague Pistol here. Plague Pistol's not going to be too good for us. I kind of want to use the clown gun again here. The clown gun literally lets us clown on fools. Oh, you see that thing there? That's absorbing our bullets. I'm taking some bad damage here. Look at this thing. Oh my god. That's going to throw so many bullets soon. I'm so ready for it. If I'm ready for it, I mean I'm going to take damage to it instantly. Our health is not great right now. We might die. It's okay though. <laughs> the camera. Man, there are some guns of Sanctified Oil that are just too good to believe. And this is certainly one of them. <laughs> just taking a thousand pictures a second and decimating the entire room, whether I can see the room or not. Oh, interesting. So, that, that swapping weapon bonus... For a second after swapping weapons, I don't, I don't know how to activate it now. It was very, very good. I thought this went green, but I don't know how to activate. It said after swapping weapons, but I'm not seeing that happen. Oh, God. Get 
Get blasted, boy. More camera ammo. Thank you. <laughs> and then I think we're probably going to take ammo for our average Joe here. Yes, because that's our next best thing. These two are, are doing God's work right now. Average Joe is going to be really good for the um, the bigger enemies like this guy. And the camera for, like, the room's full of enemies. I'm just going to open this. We get Bloodlust Bullets. Or Gunlust, should I say. I forget how Gunlust exactly works. Killing enemies increases damage up to 50%. There you go. Taking damage reduces that damage bonus. Be this is such a... Crazy good combo. It was such a humble start, such a humble beginning. But in the end, something beautiful emerged. I don't exactly know how this accuracy bonus works. I mean, it is a D tier weapon, so a D tier item, so I wasn't expecting it to be amazing. We good? No, we are not good. We got some of these beanbag boys coming out the ground. See now this we can just open like that. And now we need you all open. Ooh, hello. Oh, Ember Cannon could be pretty insane. Yes, so normally it needs to charge. It no longer needs to charge. So Ember Cannon. Pretty good. Pretty decent shop here. I'm just going to buy a key and then some armor. I'm just going to open this with a key rather than waiting. Ember Cannon's pretty decent here. Because normally you need to charge it look like this. But not now with this you don't have to charge it. Hey, that's not too bad. It's not super interesting, but it does help. Only thing with this thing is, not got the best range, but if we can manage to get that accuracy bonus going at some point. The fact that we're shooting shots out of our back as well helps. And we'll switch over to the average duo for a minute here, because some bigger enemies. Come here, you. I know your tricks. Good. Getting a good amount of healing here. We've got one more room over here, which seems to be the boss room. I wonder how good the camera's going to be against the boss, to be honest. I don't actually know. Pretty decent, but not as good as this. Ah, oh, took damage straight away again. Again, I don't really care about taking damage on bosses, to be honest. <laughs> Look at this. Silliness. Somewhat hard boss here, but... Not that bad. Beautiful stuff. <laughs> this weapon is just decimating all that stands before us. And we get the Phoenix, which has a synergy, apparently, with... Uh, what exactly? With smoke... With our thingy, Smoking Joker. So that's that accuracy bonus one. Maybe it's like... Oh yeah, they're red. So, I guess I had... I don't get it. I just don't get it. Right, so fire with this thing for a while. Okay, and then it's ready. And then switch. Okay. So, I want to be going camera into clown gun. And I fire with the camera for a little bit. And then switch to my other weapon. I think that's how it works. We are in Curse 5 now. So, this last floor might be a little more spicy. But I think, I think we're fine. I think we're going to be A-OK -okay here. And I think I'm going to end off the run at, uh, at the dragon here, just because I want to do a sort of slightly shorter showcase run. But if there's any other items from Get Into The Gungeon mods you want to see, uh, then please let me know. Yes, okay. And then the bullets are red, which I'm Im Im immediately assuming also improves our damage with them. Certainly seems to be. Right, 
good, good. <laughs> the clown noise, this is just... I don't care if you're dodge rolling, fella. Yeah, this is working pretty well. I like the smoking jerk synergy. It seems good. Ooh. Snipers. I don't even know who's in this room. And I'll never know. Oh! Oh, it's Spare Key. Unfortunately, Spare Key is an item that just gives you keys every floor. Not necessary for us anymore. Whee! It does mean that if we do the opposite way, we get more damage on our camera, which is particularly good. Good, good, good. When it's all these small enemies like this, easy. Let's switch over to this. Yeah, look at that damage. When it's one of the shots are super focused with the accuracy like that. Man, the clown gun is kind of clowning on people, man. It's amazing. Oh, hello. Ooh, ghost bullets. I've got just enough to make that work. Although, uh, the final shot, if that was the other way around, alpha, it would be insane. Because you always fire the first bullet of your magazine. Like, just take a look, watch. Well, this is better look. You see how it's always firing the first bullet in the right there? So, alpha bullets would have been amazing. Omega bullets, not so good. But, clown shot plus piercing seems interesting. Ammo there, good, good. Right, try and get the last few chests here. Curse enemy there, don't want to deal with you. Next for key, thanks. Sorry, hammers, didn't get time to do your hammer time. Not to me, at least. Oh, honestly, the clown gun is such a fun weapon to use here. Hey, we got a link. Hello. Managed to map out the floor. We'll get something from you. Another weapon to showcase. Why not? Oh, this is just a chest room. Yeah, another mimic. Thank you. Hey, another cl uh, one of these. So... This is kind of funny. So we get the clown mask, and we've got the clown shotgun, and the drill. So we get one of these guys from the payday synergy, but then we also get the clown posse. The insane clown posse. I don't know what you want to call the synergy. Clown town or whatever. But th this is going to be interesting. I don't know exactly what the synergy does, but I'm sure it'll be good. Uh, I can pop in here like this and then grab that. And there you go. There's the third one. The whole payday crew, baby. The whole payday crew. Why would I not grab the HP? Unexpected to get the payday crew here, but especially with the clown gun on top of it. So, yeah, I was just about to say, I bet it's going to be an accuracy increase, and it is. And you can clearly see that as we were doing with the um, with the bandit arm synergy, with the uh, the accuracy up. Now we just get that accuracy all the time. So this gun is now just insane, especially with the craziness that we've got going on right now. And we've got ghost bullets, remember, so it pierces too. Pretty special. Silver bullets, more damage to jammed enemies. That does not go awry there. That's pretty good. It will not go unnoticed. Right. Last chest room coming up. Just the rapid-fire clown noises is uh, is pretty brilliant here. Really, they should all be mimics. We've had that mimic item, and it's just made all of our things mimics. And we get ourselves the bazooka. Bazooka is very good because it's an explosive weapon, and the explosion damage is completely unchanged. The damage of the missile hitting is much lower, but the actual explosion does the exact same damage, which means bazooka, very, very good. As you can clearly see. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, it's still exploding for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, maybe that's something to do with how the bazooka works. Um, it's capable of damaging its bearer. Okay, that's not a problem. Not a problem. Now, should I do bu bullet hell? Do I have enough time to do bullet hell? That is the question at hand. I think with this setup, I probably do have enough time. <laughs> so, I'm curious. Can I bug this out? If I... If I carry the old Goldie into the next floor, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I think I've got time. I carry the old Goldie into the next floor. And then I switch to the camera. So 0 0.53 damage. We see that right there. With the old Goldie. And I switch to the camera. Will it keep the 0 0.53 damage because I moved between floors with the old Goldie? I have a feeling it might. A little bit of a bug, but... It works in our favor, so why wouldn't we use it? So, we are at 0 0.49, and we switch to the camera. And yes, we have kept the damage. Oh, no, no, it, it just changed. Okay, maybe not. Well, we'll do camera and bazooka, then. And the camera we're going to be spamming the hell out of. Dead end room there. A lot of these rooms are going to be pretty easy. We do have some additional challenges on Bullet Hell now with modding, but we're not going to be doing those today. Again, plenty of stuff to check out in the future. Oh, shit. I forgot. I fire missiles backwards as well. I've got to be very, very wary of that. I can't be standing near a wall. What is that? Second brain. Increase gun stats based on the class of carried weapon. A secondary brain in a jar. Um, interesting. So, um, pistols and poison weapons increase accuracy. Um, Non-rifle beam and charge increase damage. Shotguns and bad weapons increase knockback. Full or earth dire silly weapons increase rate of fire. Ice weapons increase coolness. Charm increase projectile speed. Explosive weapons increase reload speed. So really we want to be using non-rifle beam or charge. Which I think camera technically counts as a charge weapon. So that's good. And normally I have to charge the camera. Okay, mini boss here. Uh, get out my rocket launcher. Yeah, he's got two life bars, so he's not dead yet. <laughs> the screen shake is a bit wild right now. If you want to chill out with the explosions at some point, that'd be good. Health there. Camera ammo, good. Mimic. Jammed Mimic. Crossbow. Not particularly the best weapon for us right now. And then more ammo, which I'll leave for now, I think. I think I'll come back for that. Don't think Rat'll steal it. I might, he might, I'm not sure. Oh god, the fact that the explosions can hurt me is uh, pretty brutal. I'll go back and get that health now. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Oh, rooms like this with a camera are so much better. Easy. Some armor there for us as well. Lovely, lovely. Thank you for saving me there. Good. Okay. 
I'm plowing through the rooms here, to be honest. The camera is just obscenely strong with this damage that we've got. And then more ammo there. Unfortunately, went the wrong way here. No worries, though. <laughs> oh, it's just so crazy how, like, Sanctified Oil can make some guns like this so insanely powerful. Like, a 0.48 damage as well, or only 50% less damage rather than having... Well, having 50% damage rather than 20% damage that we started at, so... Damage is going well. And as I said, explosion damage stays the same, so... Right, now we've got to pick the right way. We've got three ways to go. Two of which will be dead ends. Guaranteed. A key, I guess. I think we went the right way. I think we're good. He's glitched. Take him out. Here he is. Okay. Bazooka. Just stand, two, stand a little bit further away from the wall. And this guy should be absolutely toasted. Oh my god. Severely toasted. That is a quick lich kill right there. That is a quick lich kill. Yeah, so we've been able to show two of the, well, three of the absolute best ways to use Sanctified Oil. We, we, showed, we showed the absolute worst case scenario at the beginning of the run. Single fire weapons that, with low damage, terrible. But then we showed a fully auto weapon, beaming. Then we showed uh, a charge weapon in the camera that doesn't have to charge anymore and does full room damage. So in two facets, it's very, very good. But then after that, we showed explosive weapons, which are realistically, I think, the best possible weapons you can get with Sanctified Oil. Because as I said, the explosion damage is completely unchanged. It's just the impact damage that's changed. Luckily, there's no walls behind us here, so we don't have to worry about that too much. But there you go. Simple, quick and easy Lich kill. Lovely little Sanctified Oil run. I hope you guys enjoyed this little showcase, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.